The agricultural sector remains a mainstay across East African countries. However, it's characterized by significant untapped potential. Access to markets for smallholder farmers remains among the top priority challenges limiting commercialization of the sector. We never had really a sustainable market. I didn't know exactly where to get uh, the raw materials from. I would get it from middlemen and the traders. And uh, most of the time, we had those challenges of bagging, of uh, drying, and of um, the quality. Now, being women, sometimes it is very hectic maybe to leave our places of work and travel to those distant areas. So we would use brokers. So you find that a broker would be eating from you. At that time, as I had a, the main challenge I had was about to get uh, the premium grains, which are supposed to be sorted and uh, not mixed up with different varieties. As my focus was about uh, the yellow type, um, that time it wasn't really uh, easy to get that type which is in good condition as I wanted. So I was rejecting more uh, stock, which was about maybe 30% of, uh, of, the, of the collected stock from the farmers. I was very very happy to have a lot of money and I was very happy to have a lot of money. I was very happy to have a lot of money and I was very happy to have a lot of money. I was very happy to have a lot of money. We have a store that is a capacity of 300 metric tons, but we could just bulk 50 metric tons. Farmers wanted immediate cash, which we never had as cooperative. We are a bit constrained in terms of knowledge and expertise in that field. We try to look at collaborators that we could work with. So in 2018, that's when we had an engagement and started working with Human Trust under the React C program. Regional East African Community Trade in Staples, REACTS 2 project, implemented by Kalimo Trust and funded by Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA was conceived to address some of the identified underlying issues limiting farmers from taking advantage of national and regional market opportunities. The project was implemented for three years, having started in April 2018 and ended in March 2021, targeting green grams, potato and beans value chains in Kenya, beans and maize value chains in Uganda, rice and beans value chains in Rwanda, the REACTS 2 project was implemented using a facilitative Kalimo Trust Consortium approach to value chain development. The model is centered around market off-takers and aggregators as anchor partners to provide a market pull and crowding in of necessary and sufficient partners to develop market systems. To improve efficiency, REACTS 2 project integrated village agent model into the consortium approach which increased participation of youth and women along different value chains. The initiative was started uh, when we got an exposure visit that was funded by Climo Trust to Kenya. Uh, we wanted to explore opportunities in Kenya, so we went and visited different millers in Kenya. And we realized that uh, there was a business opportunity to supply them, but they needed an organized system that can process and export to them green maize and beans. So we came back and formed an association. We realized that no single cooperative would manage export and meet the volumes that we had needed that side. So it, it was uh, required that we join Synergy and make an association where we can aggregate the demand and then divide it to the different cooperatives and be in a position now to supply. Even our members from this side now visited Uganda. We visited all the producer organizations in Uganda. We formed partnerships. They were able now to see the crops, the mostly grains. Through this partnership of Nepal and through Kimo Trust, we were able now to secure a good sourcing market where we can now be able to aggregate good quality grains. Kimo Trust didn't help me only to focus on side of farmers, they also helped me to focus on the other side of, of, of market. So uh, they have been like, uh, that, through that project of Red 2, they have been like my advisors in terms of sourcing, also in selling. Limo Trust put much emphasis on quality, the 
train does, to hard exchange visits to other developed cooperatives. They told us how we can do the business, whereby we should not keep on bulking, bulk for more than three months, we should at least buy and sell in order to avoid the loss that we could meet in the previous time. They supported us in sourcing and also looking at partners that we could work with. Through REACT2 project, several achievements have been registered. Here are some of REACT2 project impacts. Kwaje guhura nikiza mu kuri sezo ibanziriza iyi uh igishanga cyose cyose kiratwarwa ngira ngo murayibona nubu harahatarakamuka nubu kuri sezo twahinze igipande kimwe uh ariko twaje gushinganisha igihingwa cyacu bitewe nuko twabonye umufatanya bikorwa kadukangurira ikiza cyo gushinganisha igihingwa ubu abahinzi yego nti babonye ijana kwijana ariko nibura abashoboye kubona igishoro ku buryo ubu ngubu abasubiyemo bahinze bishimye kuko bari barashoboye kubona igishoro hanyuma bakabona uburyo bwo gusubira mu gishanga guhinga iki kibuga cyatuvanya ahantu hakomeye cyane imbuga yatunganiye kuzabona umuceri ufite isuku utari mwa mabuye n'icondo we are starting from zero and out of this partnership, we've been able to bring four new partners. That is the SMEs and also the produce organizations on board. Uh, out of which we've been able to disperse uh, close to one billion Uganda shillings in the portfolio. Through this partner that we've engaged, we've managed to reach out indirectly to over 3,152 smallholder farmers. It is through that partnership that we have done a very big business whereby most of our processors from our organization that is upper and the other traders from Kenya have been able to secure maize from Uganda even during the corona period we were having no hassles because already we had a partnership with Nepal from the other side and we have done a very good business deals of around 900 million Kenya shillings that is 40,000 metric tons of maize from the other region of Uganda. Ever since Kilimo Trust came on board we put this thing in the platform. Prices are seen in the platform everywhere because these cooperatives are in platforms with us. So most of the time we know over the prices and once we send their money, we discovered we have money to save so much. We are owning about four stores than the previous times that we could have one small store and with very, uh, very small stock inside. Right now we are having over 2,000 uh, 90 kilograms bags of beans, uh, of maize, sorry, and we are having 1,090 kilograms bags of beans. So now we started uh, uh, shipping to France. So far we have um, exported about uh, 320 metric tons abroad. Because of the fertilizers we received, we are able to have high yields. We've increased from the 50 metric tons we could bulk within one season to over 1,300 metric tons so far that we've given out to the Kenyans. Before, most of the maize coming from Uganda was being packed in 140 kgs, gunny, gunny bags. But for now, as per the requirement from our side, most of our maize is coming packed in 50 kgs and 90 kgs. We shall eat business. At least I can see a lot of improvement, as much as I think uh, maybe language barrier or our understanding. But they have really tried, and I hope that they will continue improving and making it easier for all Kenyan traders. Two things have happened here: that farmers now are driven by what is demanded in the market to, to, to determine what they should grow. But now they are willing to invest their small profit from their cooperatives to continue with the soil testing and being able to uh, make sure that they use the right fertilizer for their crops. Now, and once you have sorted those three things, 
you are growing the right variety, you are, you are using the right, the correct the fertility management, responded to a particular demand of a market, we consider that to be a transformed uh, farming system. First of all, the hope is given the farmers that they can export. To me, this is very good. But we've also given them the hope that the cooperatives can still work and they can work very well. And we've given them the hope that they are institutions like Kilimo, which can support them to grow. We have been uh, praying that if the Kilimo Trust may be able now to go to another project, also through that project, the expansion of the, the year two, two project or year three project is that we can now be able to increase on post-harvest management, even from our side and from the garden side, and also training of our members on various issues on food safety. Our Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, was very happy to award a grant to Kilimo Trust to handle this issue. And we are very glad that Kilimo Trust has made huge strides in, in this aspect. Thank you.